dig into in weather today. Hi, I'm meteorologist Dave Humpty. Here's a look at 805 webcams live Lake Nascimento. We had one boat going through there, but you can see how low the lake levels have gotten here. So we're in a drought. We're in a heat wave right now, and the hot weather for the interior is going to linger all week long. It's 103 still in Paso Robles and 107 in Shandon, 106 California Valley, 103 Cuyama, 106 Santianez. We're one off the record in Paso Robles at 111 today. Cal Poly made it to 100. We're not even very far off the peak in San Luis Obispo, 94, 82 for us in Santa Maria, 78 Lompoc, 87 Isla Vista, 82 in Santa Barbara. This there's some breeze up here in the interior. Why is that happening? It is so hot here. You get that air rising a little bit. The atmosphere wants to fill in for that, but that's really what we call a thermal gradient that'll ultimately die down here. It's not going to be enough to bring cooler air into the interior. So the excessive heat warning continues into Wednesday at eight. Now, it could get extended based on some of the temperatures we're talking about here, but even if it doesn't, you get the idea. This is week two of that heat wave. Let's take a look at what's going on at the coast. This heat advisory here will likely drop at 8 o'clock tonight. Temperatures will ease off. It's not going to be a huge drop. So even though we're going to drop the advisory, it is still worthwhile to take reasonable precautions in the heat because San Luis Obispo and Santa Maria, places like that, even AG going to be fairly warm. Now the places to beat the heat, Pismo Beach looking very good all week long with temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Lompoc temperatures backing off from the 80s into the upper 70s. Maybe a little bit of rebound back into the low 80s on Friday and Saturday, but at least that's a little relief. Regionally, San Diego near 90, Palm Springs 110 plus in Las Vegas as well. The capital very warm temperatures 110 plus. Even the Bay Area closer to 90 degrees with Monterey in the 70s. The marine layer is squished out here. You can see a little bit of easterly flow. There was some mild risk of thunderstorms here in the forecast. Saw a few cells on the radar, but modeling is not big on any of this activity. Could see another scattered or isolated storm on Wednesday, but I don't think it'll affect most folks. Now, Hurricane K is something to watch. There's Baja and Cabo San Lucas right in here. Huge storm. We've got winds of 80 miles per hour pressures at 980 millibars. It's going to get stronger as it goes to the west of Cabo San Lucas. Category two here Thursday, Friday into a tropical storm. Look where it's at on Saturday right here. That's Southern California. Here's the central coast. What's interesting about this system is, no, we likely won't get any kind of a landfall, but the winds will be enough to put energy in the water and some waves may be an issue. But there's so much moisture associated with this thing. The surge of moisture into California could even cause showers and thunderstorms Saturday across Southern California, perhaps the South Coast. Muggier air could push into the area. So yes, the heat wave will end in exchange for having to keep an eye on what's left over of K. Again, our cold water temperatures mean no landfall is likely. I don't want to alarm you too much, but it's not very often that we have to track the leftovers right into the waters off of Southern California. 108, Pass Robles, 88, Santa Barbara, 91, San Luis, 80 in Lompoc. North Coast beaches in the upper 60s and low 70s. Avila Beach closer to 75. So yeah, there's relief at the beach, but you don't have to get far away from it before the temperatures really jump. Look at that. Guadalupe 80, but Napomo 88. Shandon 109. Santinez Valley temperatures right around the mid 90s, 105 in Cuyama. The extended forecast 100 plus through Friday. Yeah, backing off for the weekend, but the overnight lows in the mid 60s for Paso Robles. San Luis Obispo 90s through Thursday, backing off to the 80s Saturday and Sunday. That's why I'm talking about temperatures that heat advisory easing. That's just an easing of temperatures. They're all above average all the way into Sunday in Santa Maria. Santa Barbara temperatures 80s into Friday with 70s waiting to arrive for the weekend. More at six. Back to you.